Okay, Aquarius. Hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we got some cards pulled. We're going to also, um, hang on one second, guys. Yeah. Uh, oh, that made it worse. Oh, no, it made it better. Yeah. Um, we'll clarify these cards, but okay, so let's get into it. So Aquarius, you have somebody you're not talking to, okay, for whatever reason. You know, you have your reasons. It looks like somebody wants to confront you, confront you with their truth. It's like they have to say something to you. They have to put something out on the table or get something out, especially with you coming up as the high priestess energy. It's like you're not engaging with this person or these people and it makes you uh, desirable, it makes you in a sense, um, you're above, you know, maybe you're, you're, you're just not engaging because whatever reason here, but you being in this high priestess energy, it's almost as if you can feel that this person or people want to come back and they want to talk to you. They have to say something to you. They're also being very nosy, you know, very nosy knight of swords, the page of swords. They could be asking around about you. You could be the topic of gossip. Um, someone wants to know, you know, they either want to know what you're doing, how you're doing it, how you make money, how you know that, how you learn that, how'd you get that, where are you going? It's like with you being kind of, um, you know, to yourself, uh, it's making everybody, you know, um, it's making everybody kind of, um, be, you know, heightened, you know, be nosy want to know what you're doing like maybe you're not talking you know you keep it to yourself so it's making everybody agitated it's like they just want to know this could be family members it could be a loved one it could be a romantic partner that you're not engaging with it definitely for some of you could be maybe someone you married you were married to you are married to a father figure a masculine energy a man where there's no communication between the two of you. You have had a long period, maybe even years, nine months or more of no activity. Like there's nothing, nothing of stu substance or substance. Like there's, you know, if you saw them, you would maybe wave your hand to say hi and you keep going like nothing, like you haven't had an in-depth conversation. You don't haven't had a sit down with this person. You, you're not in the same places as this person. You just don't engage. You try to not engage. Okay. And with you doing that is raising so many eyebrows and people have so many questions. There's also somebody here who just wants to level with you, you know, and they want you to deal with them with a sense of compassion. I heard for some of you, they want like your sympathy or they want your empathy or they want you to um, give them another chance or uh, they also high, high, high energy of somebody just wanting to know what you're doing. Also, they want to know about, you know, the mystery surrounding how you make money or what you do for money or um, something of that nature. It's like uh, this person is curious about your money matters. Somebody just wants to know. The strength card can talk about other people's money. So it's like somebody wants to know about your money. How did, how, were, how did you get here? How did you come out of this? How are you maintaining? Somebody also wants to know what you know. Like they know that you're very wise, you're skilled at whatever you do. It's like they want the high priestess can talk about gifts also maybe they want your gift they want, they want something that you have a uh, high level of jealousy you, the high priestess you know in groups of women if you are the high priestess you make 
other women, you know, threatened, nervous, jealous. If this is in, in terms of how a masculine energy looks at you, then you are above all the other women that he may have or he knows or he has dealt with. Same for same sex, you know, if you are the woman that, you know, is put above everyone. Because you're not moving, you're not doing much, you're just standing still and, and getting downloads from the universe. Um, you have favor. A lot of people are just extremely jealous. Uh, there's somebody here, could be a Sagittarius, who wants to reconcile with you, but they know it's not going to be easy or you don't want to do it at all. You don't want to talk to this person. You just feel like it's not worth putting the effort behind and you're not going to do it. And, um, I think this person knows that they want, they just want to make it right. They want to salvage the connection, the relationship, whatever it was. Let's clarify the page of swords. So we, yeah, well, we got listen. So we got the high priestess coming out again. So somebody is, um, they're really inquiring about you. They could even be getting tarot card readings on you, asking around about you, asking younger people or younger energy if there's children involved. There's, it's like this person needs to know, you know, because you're so n not engaging with them and not telling of your business. Who is the king of coins here? Who's the king of pentacles? Who's the king of pentacles? Okay, so this could be um, a lover, a past lover. It could be a new lover. Let's see, who is this? Yeah, um, this could be a person who was significant. It was a significant relationship Maybe it's changed. The relationship, the dynamic has changed here. It's not the same. You thought this person had your best interest at heart, but they were really out for self. Wow, as I say that fairness came out. I was like, yeah, they, when they dealt with you, they were not just, they were not fair. And now they want to apologize. They want to, you're both on different scales right now. Like they want to apologize and make something right. In, in order to do that, they need your forgiveness. They need you to be compassionate so that you guys can temper temperance, the, um, the connection, you can salvage it. You can come to some middle, middle ground, middle agreement. So this is somebody who treated you unfair. Okay. And now they want to apologize. I don't know if they're getting their karma. You know, they're getting what's due to them. And it could be by way of a new lover. Somebody that maybe they let come in between you two. Right? Um, somebody that changed the course of the, the destiny of the relationship. But they regret, there's regret here. Or somebody feels, okay, why does this person want to come back? Why does this person? Yeah, they want to make a, an apology to you um, for their lack of consistency. Um, they feel like it's healthy to do this. Also, you know, it'll clear their karma. Is this person trying to come back into Aquarius life? Yep. Yeah. So re rebirth, um, they could, um, yeah, be trying to bring this back from the dead. They feel like they had some roots laid with you. Like this was home or home is with you. It was a healthy relationship. It was consistent. They knew what to expect with you. You were their safe place. They could be trying to come back. 
but the universe is, has put this on pause and I think this person is at a place of understanding what part they played in the breakdown of the relationship, in the demise of the relationship. This could be a Piscean person, doesn't have to be. Um, they're realizing something here. Yeah. And they could be trying to manifest you back, either through dreams. They could be trying to pop up a surprise. You know, they could be trying to just jump into your life. And we have the page of swords coming out again. Like they're just spying, questioning. They're very inquisitive about you. But this would be a tower moment if they came back, like, they would kind of blow up your consistent growth. But they're, they're, they want to come back, right? So you can um, forgive them. They also feel like what's in the air for you is that um, you're going to be moving forward. And you're going to ha have a lot of victories in your life. You have a lot of success. And they see that you're focused on yourself. And... You're going in the right direction. So it's like they want to kind of come back and um, ask for forgiveness. And um, they kind of want to shift your focus. But it looks like they're going to be met with the cutoff. And you being very decisive. You being the executive. You you have the last, okay, I heard you have the last laugh or you have the, last, the final word. And it's going to be a no because you don't you feel like this is some strategy of theirs to get what they want maybe your standards have risen and the relationship has been in a very distant place for a very long time and you just don't feel like this person is going to stick around for a long time you know you feel like if you let them back it'll be fun times and then they might be gone as, as fast as they came. The universe is really trying to enlighten you about something, maybe about making choices out of, uh, knowing that you, it's not a good choice, but trying to make the best of it, maybe making fear-based decisions here the universe is trying to enlighten you about this. Maybe even bring some awareness to you about um, somebody's intentions, afflictions, addictions. Mm. Somebody wants to come back to you and, and have sex with you. They could be a leader, a boss. They delegate to other people, but they have um, some things they haven't told you maybe some feelings that they have not expressed to you. Without you, deep feelings kind of well up within them. They don't know where this is coming from and they just don't know how to express it. This person wants you back, but at the same time, they don't want to change anything. They want everything to be, you know, like the status quo, how it used to be. If we used to sneak around, let's continue to do that. If it was carefree connection, I'll see you this week and then I won't see you for another two weeks. Let's do that. You know, this person wants to set the law, the order of the connection. Let's pull two more cards. Let's see. Um, yeah, they want to definitely resurface. They want to come out of um, separation, four of swords in reverse, death card in reverse. 
They don't want this to be over. They see value in you. But they don't, but they also don't see that um, they can have what they want with you, the four of wands in reverse, because um, you may be looking at them differently. You don't look at this as a happy relationship. You look at it as maybe traumatic and one of the most, okay, of course, for you to stick around, there must have been some fun times between the two of you, but you're also looking at maybe the trauma that it caused, the emotional scarring. You just don't look at the relationship in a positive, happy light. This could be you or someone else. You've come out of waiting, uh, out of being heartbroken about this, giving to this connection. It's like you want something new, you want somebody new, but this person keeps resurfacing in these readings in your energy, maybe even in your dream space. It's like they're trying to take you backwards. They're trying to make all of your progress re reverse. They don't like being cut off. They can't deal well with that. There is no joy, there's no fun. There's no happiness in their life right now. They feel like they just need to have the opportunity to make you fall in love with them again. And then it, you guys will come out of this, um, the five of pentacles, that's how they feel. If, if they just get the opportunity. Let's see what the advice is for you, Aquarius, moving forward. Um, Will this person stop stalking the Aquarius? Okay, okay, let's see why they're stalking you. Why is this energy stalking the Aquarius? Why is this energy stalking the Aquarius? Um, so we got Caucasian and you are my sunshine. Yeah, so they're stalking you because, um, you know, white Caucasian sometimes is associated with, you know, um, good things or bright things. Then you have this bright, you are my sunshine card. So it's like, maybe they're seeing the light that you are the person that makes them happy. Okay. They're stalking you because they feel like if they come to you directly, you're going to be kind of a live wire. Like you're going to go off or you're going to immediately shut it down completely um they're stalking you because you're likable extremely likable mm -hmm. um everything about you that's what i just heard they're stalking you maybe since your birthday okay. they feel like maybe your zodiac signs your birth chart matches you are a match for them why is this person stalking the queer? Wow. They feel like you're an earth angel. They feel like if, if you're not the earth's angel, you're their earth angel. They're stuck on you. They're hooked on you. Cause you know, if you're a stoner, then you're like hooked on smoking, right? They're just stuck. Just keep showing its face. They also feel like you're very understanding, okay? But they're not making any moves because they're afraid. Why is this person stalking? Whoa, that flipped out. Do you see that? Because your body is perfect. Okay. They don't like the fact that you aren't taking them serious. They don't like the fact that the relationship failed or there was failure here. They feel like you are most rational okay they're stuck on some type of sexual escapade that you guys had or have like they think about it over and over again maybe when you guys were intoxicated it you know it made 
the um, sex fun or more exciting or whatever, you know, maybe inhibitions, were, you know, loose. Why is the Aqua why is this person stalking the Aquarius? Because they know that you're dating, maybe dating other people or they want to date you. Um, they know that you put boundaries up with them. So it's like, how else will I know about you outside of stalking? They feel like you have somebody else and they, they kind of want to be destructive and come back in and shift the energy. I don't know if they're willing. We didn't see a lot of offering. Why is this person stalking the Aquarius? Because there has been weeks of no communication and they can't take the withdrawal. Why is this person stalking the Aquarius? Because I'm getting here, okay, so some of you, this could be a beard type situation where, where it has something to do with sexuality, but I'm getting here that also somebody just wasn't honest with you about how they felt when they had the opportunity to be honest with you. This person could be stalking you because, um, yeah, you're super seductive. They like the way you think. Maybe you feel like you're smart. Maybe they feel like you're very, a good maternal figure. They want to get you pregnant or something like that. They feel like you're handsome for my male Aquarius. And more importantly, they feel like you're honest, caring. Okay. So you got a lot of good qualities and attributes about yourself and this person just can't get over that. And they also may have not found that in another person. So they're at a place of, you know, um, needing your, like a fix of you, you know, like I'm, they need their fix of Aquarius. They need their, their dose of Aquarius because they can't find that anywhere else. Let's see what the advice is for you, Aquarius, moving forward. What's the advice for Aquarius? Justice card. Be fair. Be honest. Be just. Someone will, they're trying to work their bad karma off or not so good karma. So they may be coming to you trying to be fair with you, uh, balance things out, do the right thing. Yeah, it could be a masculine energy. They're trying to say something to you. The magician governs uh, language. Like they're trying to get their words together, trying to take matters into their own hands, make something happen behind the scenes though. So it's like wanting to come towards you, but hiding from you. The advice is understand that there's some strategy with this person to keep your, your plans also with the magician and seven of swords, keep your plans to yourself. Okay. Um, don't tell everybody. Don't, if you can't, you know, if you can, don't tell anybody. Advice, ace of cups. Uh, don't tell anybody about this new start that you're having this new love or this new, new devotion or spirituality or new business that you're starting. Yeah, don't tell anybody. You got another future card, three of wands. Don't tell anybody about, anybody about your, your visions, and what you see and what you, you know, what you envision for yourself. Um, again, strategy, King of Swords coming up. Be 10 steps ahead of, uh, you know, um, have researched in detail what it is you're trying to bring about what it is you're trying to bring into fruition take some time and be uh, a recluse so that you can really you really bring something into fruition you, you institute something new Stand 
firm in, in your newfound standards also. If somebody resurfaces, that this is the advice here. If somebody comes back, be immovable in your, your standards. You know what you want for yourself. Don't accept anything less. Because somebody's just trying to kind of like stir the pot. Because they feel that you're coming into a sense of going to the next level, next chapter. Like they feel like something, they know what they feel like something is going to happen with you or for you. And they're hurt about it. They've maybe even shed tears about it. They don't like, whoever it is isn't like being rejected, but the cards just keep telling you to do nothing and stand firm. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, be the Queen of Swords. You had the Queen of Swords in the other deck, and the Queen of and the King of Swords in the other deck too, with the King of Swords and Queen of Swords here. So it's like this relationship is is mental. You know, it's like there's been some time that passed between the two of you. Like you are not close. Okay, there's no emotions here. It's all mental, mental agility, being able to maneuver mentally. Being able to know, you know, outwit the other, outsmart the other, or you, just, you feel that way, or you feel like you have to be careful in terms of what you say, um, or somebody has to um, pry the truth from another. Um, yeah, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you just, the advice here is just, um, Stick to your guns, whatever they are, whatever they were. Um, if you do want to take somebody back, only time will tell. So you'd have to watch to see if they have had a shift, a change in personality or perspective or their own personal philosophy for themselves in relationships. You know, and that's only going to be by way of time. Like they can come back and say that they changed, but you're going to have to. Um, evaluate this and come to a place of you know asking yourself do do i allow this back listen to what yourself tells you you know because it says that you'll start looking for validation outside of you but you already know what to do especially with somebody trying to transition out of a place of of ending This person could be saying that they have had like some spiritual rebirth or, or this is what you've had, Aquarius. They could be, yeah, willing to fight for you or get into some type of competition if there's another person because they feel like, again, you're going to the next level and they are going to, they already are hurt, have been hurt. They just don't want this. Make sure you make people show and prove that they are different or have changed. Make sure that everything adds up and that somebody has really made some change within themselves. The Ace of Swords. Because, it's, yeah, it seems as if um, it could be kind of maybe, a maybe here. Like maybe they changed, maybe they haven't. And again, only time is going to tell you, you know. Let's see. Last card. Somebody's being. Um, oh, okay. So you got look at the last card. So maybe, yeah. So they really want you to focus on this. Maybe they changed. Maybe they haven't. Maybe you allow, you allow them back into your life. Maybe you don't. Um, because they, they're really, you know, like Knight of Swords type of energy. going to be fast and persuasive and, and talking about their truth. Because they see you as a, you know, a good luck charm, healthy. It's a healthy relationship. They see you as, as luxury. You're a luxury item. You have a lot of value. They could be saying that they went away and had some shift in their energy. But we don't know if that's true or not. Only time will tell. So you're going to have to keep this person maybe at bay. Like put your boundaries up. Like, no, 
I don't want to do that, but I'll, you know, go to lunch with you, but I'm not staying the night with you or I don't know, whatever your boundaries may be. Or, you know, just keep it on the phone. Like we can talk over the phone, we can text, we can do this, but I'm not comfortable seeing you. I don't know because if someone hasn't changed and you got this big maybe coming up, I don't know. Definitely listen to your intuition. This person wants to possess you because this is how they, they see you as a gift to the world. You give great advice. You have such a layered personality. And we saw that with Earth Angel. It's like they just can't let this go. They have found other men or other women, but what they have found in you they they can't duplicate that they can't replicate that it's like they're craving you it's like a, a, a strong craving even to just talk to you they get some of your attention yeah maybe even your advice your openness your your beauty the beauty of you yeah so anyway this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If you feel like this resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. If you really feel like somebody's pulling, tugging on your energy, let me know what's going on uh, because it seems as if this energy has been stalking your reading for maybe a few weeks now and um, it's getting even more intense, intense. It's like somebody wants to come to you. Maybe they will come to you. Maybe they already have or maybe they haven't. Um, something happened around your birthday. Maybe they called or texted you on your birthday. And it was just a filler. They wanted to see if they could fill you out and if you would be receptive. But it's like they have so much more to say to you. They want to kind of salvage the connection. But I don't think the Aquarius is open to this because they completely six of swords moved on. They don't look at this connection positively. Some of you do, some of you don't. Some of you are going to give someone a chance by way of, you know, put in you know parameters and a time frame on this you gotta watch them you know because it's a maybe and you got that card look at the last card you know the last card was maybe so that's what i have for you if it resonates please let me know how it resonates for you let other aquarius know what's going on in all the aquarius lives you'll see you'll start to connect the dots and kind of you know um see it's all kind of interwoven and maybe you know, everybody's going through kind of the same type of energy right now. So anyway, um, go over to the website, book there. Keep in mind that readings are 50% off. You're going to get your own personal reading uh, via Zoom um, or over the phone. Um, you can also get a pre-recorded reading. Uh, it's 10 minutes it's at the website level also. So head on over, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.